You're watching News 8 Now. I'm Megan Torgerson. A quarter million juvenile clams are being placed in a system where they are fed and protected from Maine predators, mainly green crabs. The clams will be then transferred to a safe area where they can continue to grow, hopefully with minimal threat from the crabs. Representative Mike Michaud says it's an important step toward protecting Maine's sea life. A University of Southern Maine student will be back in court today. Alan Michael Santos is accused of threatening his fraternity brother and causing an armed standoff with police back in January. He is facing charges of criminal threatening with a dangerous weapon, terrorizing, and creating a police standoff. He may enter a plea today. He has been undergoing counseling per a judge's orders. Governor Paula Page is headed to Iceland today for a trade mission. The governor will be in Reykjavik for three days with members of Maine's industry sectors. He's also going to be meeting with the Icelandic president and will be touring companies in the seafood industry. The goal there is to cultivate business opportunities. The Maine International Trade Center says more than 40 people are expected to attend. The International Marine Terminal in Portland was revived last year when the company Eimskip started shipping operations to and from Iceland. LePage comes back on Wednesday, but members of the delegation will finish out the week in London. Gillette Stadium lived up to its name over the weekend, and fan favorite Rob Gronkowski created some buzz for a good cause. It was the annual cancer buzz off. Gronk got some help from his mom at the event that raises millions for kids fighting cancer. It was his fourth time participating. Thank you for tuning in to this News 8 Now update. I'm Megan Torgerson. Make sure to check back at WMTW.com and our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime. Have a great day.